Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I am going to do a relationship reading on Megan Fox, uh, Brian Austin Green, and Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> Never heard of Machine Gun Kelly. Uh, this is a channel where I do celebrity readings and uh, celebrity readings, K-pop, um, sometimes politics, that sort of a thing. I'm a clairsentient, clairvoyant. I also do private readings. If anybody is interested in doing a private, uh, getting a private reading from me, I will leave my information in the about section underneath. Uh, email me. I will get back to you within 24 hours and my turnaround time is about, uh, you know, usually 48 hours. Maybe give me five days at the very most to get a private reading out. So as a clairsentient, I absorb other people's emotions and feelings and so forth. All right, so when I think about Megan and Brian, <clears throat> I feel like that is over for sure. Um, I think Brian would, uh, Brian would have liked to save the marriage, but Megan is gone. Um, uh, this machine gun Kelly that she has hooked up with, I feel that these two have a spark. When I did a reading on Jennifer Lopez and um, J-Lo and A-Rod, uh, I forget what his full name is, but when I did a reading on those two, I could see sparks flying. Those two are hot and passionate. Megan and machine gun Kelly, <clears throat> same thing. I feel like the sparks are flying. Um, I don't... When she thinks about Brian, I get more of a vanilla feeling like that relationship was not fulfilling. Now, and I also, when I think about these two, I get the vibe of, of um, Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee. Like these two, <clears throat> this uh, Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox, I really feel that they're very, very attracted to each other. Um, there's a lot of passion here between the two of them. I feel this relationship will take her from being in, you know, like I know that they have kids, she has kids with Brian, and um, I really feel, uh, you know, it's kind of taken her into some sort of an excitement. And um, I think that is where she's going to stay. She's going to stay with Machine Gun Kelly. I really think these two have a lot of fun together. I know at the expense of uh, Brian, you know, um, this is going on. I don't know if he's going to try and keep the kids from her. I don't know if who has the kids, but she's off having fun, unfortunately. So um, I do feel Brian is very angry. Uh, he doesn't know how this could have happened. I just get this feeling like he's a little bit confused as how this happened. I feel like it was like an explosion. I feel like it happened instantly. It's kind of like <clears throat> she met Machine Gun Kelly. And I don't know I don't know how they met. I don't know any background. All I know is that somebody uh, that, like, a, like a, a friend of mine just said, oh, you should do a reading on Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. And that's all she kind of told me is that, like, they're they're together now and I kind of I feel like it's like she saw him and that was it it was like she is done with Brian and I really don't feel like I feel like it was an explosion a bomb went off and it's almost like her whole life kind of went upside down but she knew what she wanted, and that was to be with Machine Gun Kelly. So I don't know if they're just dating or exclusive or anything like that, but I really feel that these two have a really intense relationship. Um, she's got a bad girl vibe, you know, and I think Brian was a little too tame for her. She's looking for excitement. Um, it's just the way she is. You know, I feel that she's just um, needs that excitement. And this uh, Machine Gun Kelly is the one to give it to her. So <clears throat> let's see what's going on here. All right. Okay. Now I feel that this between Megan and Brian is going to turn ugly. It doesn't have to be like that. But I feel like uh, Brian has been... Um, Brian has been scorned. 
you know how they say when a woman is scorned, he's been scorned and he will do whatever it takes to, he, I feel like he's lashing out at her and, um, I feel like she kind of wants to, okay, you know, it's almost like she's, okay, do whatever, whatever makes you happy. You know, if you want money, if you want to have the kids, do whatever makes you happy. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm, I feel like she's willing to sacrifice a lot for this machine gun, Kelly. All right. All right. Let's just see what the messages are regarding Megan and Brian. What are the messages regarding Megan and Brian? Megan and Brian. What are the messages regarding Megan and Brian? And another another subscriber of mine wanted me to do this reading. More just Brian and Megan, but I think Machine Gun Kelly is a huge part of this. All right, Megan and Brian, cards don't lie. Three of three of swords, all right? We got the three of swords here. And this is about heartbreak, divorce, loss, depression. I'll go to my, I'm just gonna go to my book for, to get a, a deeper meaning, but it's exactly what's going on, okay? So we have the three of swords. Three of swords. Pain, suffering, sorrow, betrayal. The sword, the sword, hilt represent, oh, hold on just a second here. The suffering heart symbolizes the impact of a revelation, sorrow, betrayal, and heartbreak. The card's meaning. You may see a painful truth, but you will know exactly where you stand from now on. Okay, so this is pain, suffering. I feel like Megan was okay with Brian. I feel like it was, she was content. She, she reminds me of somebody who needs more excitement. This Machine Gun Kelly is the one to give her her, her excitement. If Machine Gun Kelly didn't come along, she would still be married to Brian, doing the whole family thing. Okay, again, I feel like this explosion went off when she met this Machine Gun Kelly. Does he have a real name? <laughs> I feel really stupid calling him Machine Gun Kelly. All right, we have Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, theft, betrayal, dishonesty, running away, divorce, affair. All right, this is what's going on. Then so Seven of Swords is typically the asshole of the deck. What is the message between what is the energies between Megan and Brian? All right, somebody stole something away from him. Again, you cannot steal somebody away. Um, I'm not saying that Machine Gun Kelly, Kelly stole him. If she was happily married to him, she cannot be stolen away. Okay, so that's all I'm saying there. So this talks about dishonesty, theft, transgressions, mistrust. It's the thief card asks you to protect your ideas, home, and possession, and even your relationship from opportunists. While the card can also indicate legal issues and business malpractice, more generally, it reveals an atmosphere of mistrust and the need for vigilance. So he's watching. He doesn't trust her, and he's watching. Okay? It's about guarding what is yours. That's what Brian now is doing. And then we have the Knight of Cups. So... So the Knight of Cups is a Prince Charming romantic love. She's moving on with this guy here. Okay. All right. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox. This is going to end bitter. It's already bitter between Megan and uh, Brian. But you know what? She is so caught up with this machine gun Kelly. She doesn't care. All right. And I don't mean to make her shallow. She just met somebody. She met someone that she is very passionate with. Like the sparks are freaking flying with these two. Megan Kelly and machine gun. Sorry. Machine gun Kelly and Megan Fox. Megan and machine gun Kelly. Megan and machine gun Kelly. What are the messages between Megan 
and Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. All right. We have the Empress. Beauty, love, abundance. Between the two of them, it's going to be abundant. This is also pregnancy. She should be careful. She doesn't want to have a baby. There is a sign of Venus. Venus is a planet of love and beauty and abundance. So I feel like this is a, it's a beautiful relationship between the two of them. Okay. Movement forward. There's the chariot. Action and change. Big change. All right. Um... I don't know what, it, I didn't look up their birth dates, but this is usually a card that represents the um, zodiac sign of cancer, Cancerian. So if either of them are a cancer, one of them could be um, leading the way here, leading the charge. They're behind the chariot. I mean, let's just, okay, I'm just going to look really quickly. Megan Fox birthday. She's May the 6th, so 16th, so she's a Taurus. Machine Gun Kelly is April 22nd, so he's a, he's a Taurus. They're both Tauruses. And Brian is a Cancer. So um, I do believe, though, here, this represents uh, movement forward. All right, she's the one behind it. And then we have uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Um, there we have the Virgo Capricorn Taurus. So here is the Taurus woman and she's resourceful. Again, it's about fertility. She might be having herself a baby if she's not careful. Okay. So this is someone who's got, she's very resourceful. She's got some domestic skills and she will find her way through this. All right. I take, I look at picture, take a, I take a look at the picture of Machine Gun Kelly. It's like, all right then. All right. All right. Future messages regarding Machine Gun, Gun Kelly and Megan. All right. Megan and I'm going to see if he's got a real name. American rapper Richard. Okay. Richard. We'll call him Richard. Richard and Megan. Future messages regarding Richard and Megan. Future messages regarding Richard and Megan. Future messages. Her wild side is going to come out with this guy. I think Brian tamed her, but the wild side is going to come out. All right, Richard and Megan. All right, Richard and Megan. Future messages regarding Richard and Megan. Future messages regarding Richard and Megan. Future messages regarding Richard and Megan. All right, future messages. We do have here the Five of Pentacles. Now, this does talk about um, poverty, ill health. There's some worry here. Could be financial loss. Um, it could be her. I don't know if, what she's going to lose. She might lose something in the marriage here. But um, this is talking about um, uh, being left out in the cold in some way. One of them might be left out in the cold. We have the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands is a lusty, free-spirited man. It's about passion, travel. This is a fast-moving energy. This was not slow between Megan and Richard. This was quick. This is an energy that's in and out. I don't know if this is going to last. All right? Um, she might, in the end, be the one kind of left out in the cold. Brian's not going to want her back. I think he would have liked to make it work, but I, at this point, I don't think he's going to take her back. And she might realize that this Richard guy isn't what she was hoping it would be okay and then we have the six of swords um six of swords is about um a necessary transition all right it's about relocating it's moving i mean i don't think they're going to split up tomorrow but i feel that once this explosion like the dust settles I mean, I think they're going to move forward. They're going to move forward from all the drama that this has caused. 
but it will settle down. They will move forward. I just don't know. I feel like there's such an intense passion, but I don't know how well these two get along. You know, once it all settles, it's going to be one of these things where it's like she might, might just say, what have I done? You know? Um, so, yeah. We'll see what happens here. Um, I just kind of feel like there's been... Uh, Brian's not... Brian is very, very angry. So, um, uh, I don't know if he's the forgiving type, but I think that his ego has taken a blow. And um, this is not easy for him. I believe that Megan and this Richard, um, they will be together, but I don't know how long term it's going to be. It's very, very passionate. Very passionate between the two of them. I just feel like sparks are flying. So, all right. If you guys like this content, I'm going to leave my PayPal in the comments section. If you guys want to donate, if you want more content, go ahead and donate to the channel. I mean, um, even if I get a couple thousand views on this reading, I'll get three or four dollars from YouTube. It's, we don't get paid a whole lot unless we get millions and millions of hits. So thank you for watching, sharing, subscribing, liking, hit the bell icon, and you'll know every time I put a new reading out. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. All right. Bye-bye.